hi guys welcome to my channel so yesterday i was checking out you know news online and i stumbled on the interview did with the real fm in usa the title of the video when my parents still live in ghetto in the jewel they refused to move to lakey and that was what Whiskey said. He was quoted saying that. When I first listened to Whiskey to Dre Ledba, I thought Whiskey was just talking about hustling, which is normal. All Nigerians, we also, like, not only Nigerians, all over the world, it's all about hustling. So it's understandable. It looks like Whiskey is trying to portray Dre Ledba as a ghetto, which makes me uncomfortable. Some people right now that have never been to Dre Ledba before, that just heard the Dre Ledba song and Whiskey saying right now that it's a ghetto. You know, they will think that it's actually a ghetto the way Whiskey was trying to portray it. You know, by is in circular. Please stop saying you know, by is a ghetto. Now, for those of you that have never been to Ojoelegba before, just heard the song of Ojoelegba and just think Ojoelegba is a ghetto. Now, let me tell you something. Ten years ago, in the entertainment industry, circular is number one. Artists come there to chill out. They have fun. Some of them even live at Ojoelegba. Here's the thing. Before I started talking about Lekki and all these places, if you are an average Nigerian or you are just a regular guy who lives at Ujueleba, you would know that we have opportunities at Ujueleba. If you're most especially if you're into entertainment, you're talking about DJs, you're talking about upcoming rappers, you're talking about upcoming singers, you guys have they have opportunities at Ujueleba. Now, let us try to balance things up. Have you guys been to Ajigunle? If you have been to Ajigunle, you wouldn't even say Ujuele Ba. We understand we have places at Ujuele Ba that are bad, just like every other places. If you go to Lekki, we have places that are bad at Lekki. But you know, tensions not Lekki and Aja and other bigger places. So it looks like you have no place that is kind of, that looks bad there. We have indigents living at Lekki, at Aja. Go see the places. You have opportunities. If you stay at the jewelry bar, you tell me you're finding it hard to, to see sponsor. Maybe you're not good at your craft, but there's something you're not just getting right because you're in the midst of tons of opportunities. Now let us come down to houses at the jewelry bar. So we we'll check out the amount they're gonna charge you. And you call that place a ghetto. Fine, I'm not against the song of jewelry bar because it talks about also, which is common everywhere. Not calling it a ghetto. Ujueleba is not a ghetto. If you stay at Ujueleba, you have tons of opportunities knocking on your door. It's just so funny. Have you guys been to Makoko? Have you seen kids who couldn't even feed? The, those kids don't even know when it's Christmas. When you go to Ujueleba, they have fun. They do carnivals. It's normal life. You could call it where an average Nigerian could stay and also where the rich could stay. Houses are very cost. At Ujuele Bao, Tsuleri. You guys try and go deep inside Makuku and see how it is. Very, very bad. They couldn't even feed. Everybody, like probably everybody living at Makuku, don't even have cash. Those ones are struggling, like everyone. Not that a part is struggling and a part is an average Nigerian. There's no average Nigerian at Makuku. Now, I was opportunity to work with an NGO last two years and we went to Ajigunle some part of a gym like, okay very very bad like I, I i i've been to like major places at ojo Eleba, and i have never seen a place as worse as that at a Jigunle. i'm sorry to say that like i'm not trying to show that those things at a Jigunle, but let's be factual you could take pick with any artist of your choice at ojo Eleba, at sole you have them 10 years ago you see them around you don't need to go to a show now the attention is now at Lekki and Aja to now classify Ujueleba and Suoleri as, you know, we need to pass the right message to the people. Don't just pass this message and leave this out. You need to strike a balance. But right now the attention is now focused on, you know, Lekki and Aja, but stop calling Ujueleba ghetto. And if you don't know that Ujueleba is okay, not that bad the way it's being portrayed, um, if you don't know, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Okay guys, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Peace.